Hello everyone, so today I'm bringing you a brand new Brawl deck tech, Hepatra Vizier of Poisons. Let's dive in. So thanks for tuning in. Before we get started, please take a second to hit that subscribe and bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. It's free and really means a lot. With that said, let's get going. So this is another deck tech for Brawl, and if you're unsure what that is, check the card in the top right corner for my video explaining the format. Hepatra, Vizier of Poisons, is a great little commander. Only costs 2 mana and deals damage to creatures in the form of minus 1, minus 1 counters, and even churns out defense every time a counter is put on any creature, so that gives us a clear strategy to go with with this deck. Plague Belcher, Baleful Amit, and Festering Mummy all dish out minus one, minus one counters one way or another. Then the Croc, Channeler and Hippo also advance our token generating strategy and the Channeler gives us a tasty bit of ramp too. Decimator Beetle helps get our creatures back up to full strength. The Exemplar gives us a little bit of much needed knife life gain. And Bane Whip Punisher brings some targeted removal to the table. Obelisk Spider basically extorts our opponent, which is really cool, and Amit Eternal has Afflict, which is nasty, and then there's Liliana Deathwielder from the Planeswalker decks, and you can check out my unboxing of her Planeswalker deck on the card up above. She slots in here beautifully, and all of her abilities are relevant. Yeah, it's a lot of mana, but I feel that I've put enough ramp in here to justify it. With the remaining creatures, Gifted Ithaborn is just a threat, plain and simple. Rishkar adds more ramp and counteracts the minus one minus ones with plus one plus ones. Galter is a real bomb I reckon, and he could come out for absolute pennies if we generated enough tokens with Hepatra. So yeah, could be having big monstrous dinosaur trampling down soon. Now we're on to the spells, and Splendid Agony and Stinging Shot dish out the pain, while Nest of Scarabs is a key piece to the deck, piling even more tokens onto the board. Hepatra's Mark, Heroic Intervention and Blossoming Defense all offer some protection to our creatures, whilst Walk the Plank, Vraska's Contempt, Fatal Push and Crushing Canopy all put a dent into our opponents. Gruesome Fate, Naturalize and Bontu's Last Reckoning are all thrown in to deal with certain situations as they arise. Fortuitous Find and then Diabolic Tutor really help us get out what we need and Costly Plunder add some card straw to the mix. Now onto the enchantments, Shaper Sanctuary is another nifty card draw tool and Path of Discovery either ramps us or helps cancel out the minus one minus one counters on our creatures. Journey to Eternity is quite easy to get flipped over, and when it does, it provides some amazing graveyard recursion, which we could need. For artifacts, I've just thrown in Traveller's Amulet and also Renegade Map for even more ramp. The mana base is really simple in Brawl, because the sort of cards, uh, the, the depth isn't there like in Modern and even Commander. So with Blooming Marsh and Foul Orchard as our dual lands, we then throw in Grasping Dunes for more token generation. There's the standard four of Scavenger Grounds for Graveyard Hate, Field of Ruin for non-basic land hate, Evolving Wilds for the fetch, and Aether Hub for a touch more mana fixing. I round it all out with eight forests and eight swamps. So there we have it guys. You can find even more content for Brawl by clicking on the card on the top right hand corner. And thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to tap those like and subscribe buttons and drop a comment down below. There's links in my description to all my other social media, but in the meantime, feel, feel free to check out some of my other videos and playlists, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers!